Built between the ancient cities of Amethyst and Curium, Limassol has a history going back 4,000 years, but experienced particular development following the arrival of the Lusinians on the island. Since the Crusades and up to the first years of British colonial rule, when Limassol was but a small mud-brick town with a few thousand residents, and since Cyprus's independence to the present day, a lot of water has run through the course of its history. One of Europe's gateways to the east in the southeastern corner of the Mediterranean, Limassol is today a large cosmopolitan city which, thanks to the carefully considered actions and the impeccable cooperation of local authorities and public agencies, is changing appearance. With attention first turned to the historical town center, which changed significantly and rapidly through primarily the establishment there of the Cyprus University of Technology, technical parameters concerning the revitalization of the center, as well as ways of solving certain problems and rendering the area more hospitable and friendly to residents and visitors alike, were looked into. At a total cost of some 24 million euros, plans have been drawn up for the decongestion of motorized traffic in the area and the laying down of infrastructure for alternative means of transport. For the shaping of plazas and, in general, the upgrading of open urban spaces. For the showcasing of the area's cultural heritage and antiquities and for the utilization of buildings constituting historical, traditional or other points of reference for the city. Of immense significance to the city is the beautification of the Garilis riverbed through the creation of a five and a half kilometer linear park. This project will succeed in reversing the specific area's current noisome character and marginalization, with a major goal being the creation of a new axis of interest featuring pedestrian and bicycle lanes, green areas and locations for the holding of various events, all running the entire breadth of Limassol. One of the city's historical monuments, the Water Tower, will soon be revamped so that it can be utilized both culturally and civically as befitting this symbol. Included in the plans is the creation of a traditional coffee shop geared towards young adults. One of Limassol's historical monuments which has been revamped and landscaped by power of a Limassol Water Board contribution to the Limassol municipality is the Havuza or water reservoir from which in days of old water was supplied to part of the city and which in 1996 was named by Cyprus's Department of Antiquities an ancient monument. In Ayerfila, a reshaping of the historic centre of the precinct is being planned. This involves pedestrian paths, cultural spaces, parking lots and a public plaza around the church and is aimed at upgrading and showcasing the historic centre of this large neighbourhood. At the site of Limassol's old rubbish dump in Ayerfila, the city's municipality has already planned the creation of a large sports centre featuring five multi-purpose courts and other installations. A Limassol landmark, the Acti Olympion, or Olympian Coast, underwent an extensive transformation in what was one of the city's largest development works. Today, the Acti Olympion constitutes a unique route offering a constant interplay of colors, images and motifs, as well as multiple uses for the visitor. Above and beyond the plazas with swimming amenities, kiosks, coffee shops, public toilets and play areas, the Acti Olympion also features a small slipway catering to leisure boat owners. As for the coastal road, the Limassol municipality, in collaboration with the Cyprus Tourism Organization, is planning the beautification of all existing building facades. 
The city's coastal road was, until a few years ago, dominated by the Olympia Sport Association's GSO Stadium. The association, established in 1892, is the oldest in Cyprus and played a significant role in the island's sports and athletics activities, having hosted Panhellenic track and field meets and boasting no small number of champions. The reshaping of the old stadium is, as of May 2009, a reality. At a cost of 3.5 million euros, procured from the Cyprus Sports Organization, it has been transformed into a modern and open-air exercise and recreation area and is now known as the Fitidion Athletics Center. Furthermore, it was agreed with the Cyprus Telecommunications Authority that the organization also fund the construction of a footbridge over the coastal road connecting the Fitidion Athletics Center with the Acti Olympion. The multifunctional seaside promenade park is a continuation of the Acti Olympion, passing in front of the old city centre and ending at the old port. The area was filled in in 1972-73 in an effort to reclaim land from the sea and in order to protect the buildings situated on the mole from the waves. Three successive sculpture symposia organised by the municipality contributed to the transformation of a nodal point of Limassol into an open-air sculpture exhibition where residents can, on a daily basis, take their walk, relax or watch their children play. The restoration and reshaping of the area begun towards the end of 2010 and expected to be completed around the end of 2012 will cost some 18 million euros, part of which is covered by a European Union grant. Through an innovative design encompassing not only the enhancement and upgrading of the current lighting scheme, but also, and primarily, the creation of attractions drawing residents who come to the promenade daily for exercise and recreation, a new dimension is given to the area. The reshaping of the entire seafront will be completed through designs already carried out for the old port and further west with the construction of the marina and the seafront road or Akter Odos, all the way to the new Limassol port. Construction of the old port began in 1954 and was completed two years later. The city's old port was essentially a harbour for caiques, fishing boats and recreational craft. The reshaping of the area around the old port is expected to change the current situation and create, through new uses, a special relationship between the city and the sea. Next to the old port, a new grand design has been in progress since 2010. This is the Limassol Marina, which through an investment of 350 million euros will change the entire scenery along Limassol's seafront and will form a new and attractive destination for visitors and sailing enthusiasts in Cyprus, thereby bolstering tourism and the island's economy. With a capacity of more than 650 vessels and through residential, commercial, recreational and cultural projects, the Limassol Marina is expected to become the most special marina in the Mediterranean and one of the most beautiful in the world. With all the characteristics of a special seafront development, this pioneering project has already started to change Limassol's appearance. Offering panoramic vistas and exceptional style, it provides the perfect combination of high quality and elegance, comfort and ease, private and social living. 
The Limassol Marina will be ready to welcome its first vessels in autumn 2012, while the entire project will be completed by the end of 2014. As for the area between the old and new ports, the Limassol municipality has already awarded the tender for a planning study. Through an imaginative design, the Limassol municipality envisions in this old industrial area the creation of a new financial centre. Also planned is the utilisation of existing industrial buildings and the construction of a conference centre. Limassol's port is the main port of Cyprus. It began operation in 1974, immediately after the Turkish invasion, and has replaced the occupied port of Famagusta. Looking into the current port industry trends, the size of the new container ships, and aiming at increasing potential, improving attractiveness and competitiveness, the Cyprus Ports Authority has decided to proceed with the upgrading of Limassol port so that this may be able to cater for third and fourth generation ships. The project is co-founded by the European Union's Cohesion Fund and is expected to cost 39 million euros. A significant infrastructure work is also a new passenger terminal building expected to be completed by mid-2012. At the same time, improvement works are continuing throughout the city, such as the surfacing of roads, the opening and linking of new roads, the widening of existing roads, the placement of new road signs, the creation of new parking areas. More than 200 parks, plazas and green areas have been created in the various neighbourhoods of the Limassol municipality. Significant beautification projects such as the construction of pavements, the shaping of plazas, the creation of parks and green areas, the creation of parking lots and the upgrading of the football pitch were also carried out in the Turkish Cypriot neighbourhood. The Limassol municipality is at the forefront as regards social contribution. It has two adult centres, while a third is also being planned. Through the various programmes, visitors are able to socialise and be entertained. Situated in the Turkish Cypriot sector, the bi-communal centre coming under Limassol's Social Care Centre, operates on a daily basis. The aim of the centre is to deal globally with problems faced by all residents of the area. Under the scope of the Social Care Centre is also the Andonis and Inoh Hajipavlu Child Minding Centre, which takes in children from low-income families. The Eleftera Heria, or Free Hands program, is aimed at supporting working women, freeing, as the name implies, their hands, and enabling them to work without having to worry about the looking after and safety of their children. Through a series of programs, such as this, launched by the neighbourhood councils, the youth council and the student councils, the active participation of young adults and, in general, the Limassol citizen, in matters of local administration is sought. Limassol Municipality has launched and continues to act on a huge effort aimed at rehousing residents of old municipal apartment buildings to new ones being built in collaboration with the Cyprus Land Development Organization. At the same time, plans are being drawn up for the opening of a community market at the former Ayos Ioannis Childminding Center, contributing in this way to the municipality's efforts to extend a helping hand to families facing financial problems. The Limassol municipality is also leading the way in the cultural sector. The Lemesos Municipality Dance Centre 
in operation since 2006 under the artistic direction of internationally known Limassolian dancer and choreographer Lambros Lambro, has as its aim to help talented students aspiring to a professional dance career. The Municipal Art Workshop, subsidized by the Ministry of Education and Culture, offers afternoon lessons to children of all ages as well as to adults. The Batigio Municipal Theatre has been contributing significantly to the upgrading of Limassol's cultural activities since 1986. Following a full refurbishing of all areas and particularly the stage at a cost of 5 million euros, it will become one of Cyprus's best theatres. The Panos Solomonides Cultural Centre will house the Cyprus Theatre Museum and the Carnival Museum. The district officer's residence on the northwestern corner of the municipal gardens will house Limassol's historical archive, museum and research centre. These listed warehouses in the historic centre of the city will soon house the Papadakis Warehouse's Municipal Art Centre. There are many more aspects to Limassol's cultural development. The full restoration, refurbishment and technical upgrading of the municipal library with electronic equipment. The restoration of the youth hostel and its utilisation for cultural and social events. The repairing and conversion of the Lambusa fishing vessel into a museum with the aim of showcasing the city's maritime history. The Limassol Public Gallery, which houses more than 700 representative samples of Cypriot art. The Municipal Museum of Folk Art, which houses, among other items, one of the most beautiful waistcoat collections throughout the Greek-speaking world. Limassol's Papadakion Municipal School of Music, a model music centre for the teaching of stringed instruments and the piano. The creation of a children's choir, as well as a multitude of cultural activities. But above all is the wine festival, which this year completes 50 years of existence, offering locals and visitors alike both entertainment and the opportunity to get to know our country's vinicultural tradition. There's also the city's carnival, which continues a tradition of more than 100 years, entertaining both young and old. Cities, as all living organisms, change, develop, evolve. With axes originating at the historic center of the city and extending outwards to the four points of the horizon, Limassol is changing appearance. A new era for Limassol has begun. <laughs>